Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another video. Before we get into it guys, I'm pleased to announce that I now have a second channel that is dedicated to my Star Wars music mixes. As many of you know, I'm a musician and composer and as such, I create about half the music for this channel myself. After several requests, I've decided to create an entire channel dedicated to it. It's called Meg's Cantina and on there I'll be uploading Star Wars ambience and chill mixes that you guys can relax to. They're going to be inspired by themes from across the saga and all contain animated artwork to accompany them. If that sort of thing appeals to you then go over to Meg's Cantina or click the link in the description down below and make sure to hit subscribe. Bear in mind that channel has no impact on this one so if it's not your cup of tea don't worry whatsoever. But let's get on with the video, thank you all so much for your time. Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. According to an exclusive scoop reported by Star Wars only last night on his podcast Chatooine, The Mandalorian is not going to be renewed for a fourth season and the upcoming season 3 in 2022 is going to be the last. Now while we haven't had any kind of confirmation of this officially, personally I'm inclined to believe it for several reasons but I will get into that in a minute. What I will say is you should take this with a grain of salt because we have had other rumours in the past saying that The Mandalorian Mandalorian is a four season show. So do bear that in mind and when we get official confirmation from Lucasfilm then we'll know for sure. So let's now dive into it properly. It appears as though Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have mapped out a big plan for the branches that expand from The Mandalorian. Many of us like to call it the Mandoverse and it includes the main show as well as its spin-offs which include The Book of Boba Fett, Star Wars Ahsoka and eventually when it goes back into production, Rangers of the New Republic. With this scoop that The Mandalorian is going to end after three seasons, I'm starting to see the bigger picture of what they're trying to build. Even though the main show The Mandalorian is going to come to an end, it doesn't mean that the storylines and the characters Characters will. In fact, Lucasfilm are going to use the end of The Mandalorian to branch out and continue the stories in other shows. For example, it's largely believed that when The Mandalorian Season 3 has wrapped up, Star Wars Ahsoka is going to go into production. And then after that, eventually, we're talking two or three years down the line, we'll get Rangers of the New Republic and some other shows as well, ones which haven't been announced yet. The end of The Mandalorian, in my mind, is just so that they can wrap up Din Djarin's story for good. Now, obviously, this is sad, but I've always seen it as logical to not have The Mandalorian be an endless, ongoing show. Having three seasons feels just right, but while it may signal the end of Din Djarin's story, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll die or we won't see him in other shows. It just means that the story that the show was created to tell is going to come to an end. The Mandalorian universe, so to speak, that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are building extends far beyond the original show. With Grand Admiral Thrawn, Ezra Bridger, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker and Grogu all playing a massive role going forward, there is so much opportunity for Star Wars Ahsoka to have multiple seasons and who knows, we might even get spin-offs of that show. For example, we may get a Thrawn and Ezra spin-off. The great thing about the creatives on The Mandalorian is that they know how to tell a solid story and as George Lucas once said when discussing Revenge of the Sith, part of telling a good story is knowing how to end it. I would much rather have an amazing three season show whose legacy lives on forever in the minds of fans than a five season show that stops being coherent after its third season. You want it to go out on a banger. So personally, I'm not too saddened by this news, especially knowing how much other related content is coming down down the line. We also have to bear in mind that there was a wild rumour floating around earlier in the year that Lucasfilm want to bring Grogu to the big screen in a standalone movie, and I for one would certainly be down for that. On the subject of Grogu on the whole, do not worry, we're going to be getting plenty of him in many projects for years to come. For one thing guys, he's a cash cow for Disney. They've slapped him on so much merch that at this point, I'm convinced there's more much of Grogu than there is of Mickey Mouse. So Grogu is not going anywhere and I think there's a strong possibility that we're going to see him in the Ahsoka series and maybe even the Book of Boba Fett this December. But as I say, if this news comes true, it seems like the end of season 3 is also going to be the end of Din Djarin's story as the lone gunslinging bounty hunter. They might do more with Din Djarin outside of the Mandalorian, as most of us are aware at this point, Pedro Pascal is reported to have filmed some scenes for the Book of Boba Fett, so it is possible 
possible that after the Book of Boba and The Mandalorian Season 3, we will see him sporadically in other shows as well. I really hope they don't kill him off in The Mandalorian, but there always is that possibility. Now, this scoop is very much in line with other rumors I've heard that Season 3 is going to be very flashback heavy to Din Djarin's past. If you guys remember, Brendan Wayne, who is the stuntman of The Mandalorian, said that Season 3 is going to feel much more like Season 1 than Season 2. In the first season of The Mandalorian, we got a couple of flashbacks to when Din was rescued by Death Watch. Season 3 is apparently going to explore more of this and who Din Djarin is and where he comes from is going to be far more important than we know and I think this is going to be due to his bloodline, who his parents were and the mysterious nature of what his home planet is. Now that he wields the Darksaber after defeating Moff Gideon, Season 3 is very likely to be Bo-Katan heavy and deal with Mandalorian themes creed and tradition, basically building on seasons one and two, but being far more reminiscent of the first season. And in a big way, I think identity and belonging are going to once again play a big role and Din Djarin is going to face new adversities. But hearing this piece of news and seeing the connection set up in the Bad Batch finale, I'm both very curious and excited to see what Favreau and Filoni are planning. Who knows, while we're all sad about this, this could turn out to be amazing news because it leaves the schedule open for more spin-offs that connect to The Mandalorian and the Ahsoka series. Now, on the subject of the Bad Batch ending, it seems like Lucasfilm are willing to re-canonize elements of the Thrawn trilogy. I've spoken about this in depth in the past, but it is worth bringing up here. I think the long-term plan is to have a wide-spanning timeline that connects to the live-action shows and the animated ones as well, as well as the three trilogies that make up the Skywalker saga. Grand Admiral Thrawn is likely to be key to all of this, and eventually the build-up to the return of Palpatine. Another thing that this all hinges on earlier in the timeline is the Bad Batch and where that will lead. We got hints at the end of the Bad Batch season 1 finale that it will connect to the Mandalorian through Grogu, Dr. Pershing and cloning in general, but it still is largely unclear. And then there's the whole subject of Omega and if she is going to be brought into live action as well. What I'm saying is they're creating a huge web of interconnectivity and it will make sense in due course. Now this scoop is not confirmed so it might not come to fruition, but Star Wars only is known for his reliability with things like this. He doesn't often scoop things, but when he has done in the past, his sources have pretty much always been right. So I'm going to go with this one on this occasion because it makes the most sense, but who knows, none of us are Lucasfilm insiders, so until it's confirmed officially, we just have to wait and see. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you thought of everything we spoke about in today's news update. Should The Mandalorian end with three seasons, or should they have a fourth or even a fifth? If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and a huge welcome if you are. And also, please be sure to check out my Patreon. The link is down there in the description, and on Patreon, you get exclusive access to content that's not found here on YouTube. And just before I go, I really hope you guys check out my new music channel, but otherwise, my dear friends, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Star Wars Meg, wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.